Hello, in this video, we are going to study Fermi level. What is Fermi level? Obviously, by the name, we get to know that it is a level. Now, which level? Energy level. Fermi level is the energy level. We know that in atoms. I am just explaining you with the atom that there is nucleus. There are energy levels around the nucleus which contains electrons. So, Fermi level is one of these energy level. Now, which energy level? Fermi level is the energy level which is filled of electrons. That means it has to be completely filled. That energy level did that which is filled with electrons. Now, there are so many energy levels that are filled with electrons. We know that oh, first shell is filled, then second and third. And this is the process of filling the energy levels with electrons. Now, which is Fermi level out of filled energy levels? The highest energy level which is filled. So, as we know that these, as the energy level is away from the nucleus, the more is its energy. That means the electrons have more energy in the outer levels. So, the highest level, the most energy, the highest filled energy level is the Fermi level. Now we are going to talk about Fermi level. Fermi level is the highest filled energy level of electrons. But we know that at room temperature, there is always movement of electrons. There is thermal agitation at room temperature. So obviously there will be movement of electrons. Then how we will get to know that which is filled, completely filled. For that, we have to measure this at zero Kelvin. That means at absolute temperature where we consider that there is no movement. So Fermi level is the energy level which is completely filled and it has to be the highest completely filled energy level at zero Kelvin. So this is the simple definition of Fermi level. Now we are going to see mathematically that there is Fermi level. We are going to prove you that there is Fermi level. For this, we will be using Fermi Dirac statistics. Now, Fermi and Dirac were the two scientists who gave us this equation to find the probability. Now, we have to see that there is an energy level filled of electrons. Filled of electrons means we have to count the electrons. But we know that we can't count electrons in numbers. There are so minute particles that we can never count them in numbers. So how can we count them or how can we say that some area or some space is full of electrons? We always talk about probability. Whenever we are talking about these kind of particles, we always talk about probability of their presence. So Fermi and Dirac statics gave us the equation to find the probability. This is probability of finding electrons. Basically, it is for fermions, but here I am taking specifically electrons. They gave us this equation to find the probability of electrons present in some energy level E. Now, let me consider here that suppose these are some energy levels. Let this be E1, this be EF and this be E2. Now, this way is going to tell me the probability of finding the electron in particular energy level. Suppose I here write E1. So, it is going to tell me probability of electrons in E1, which is equals to 1 upon 1 plus exponential power E1 minus EF. EF is the Fermi energy level. We are assuming here that there is a Fermi energy level and we are going to prove you that there is this kind of Fermi level present. Upon Kt, where K is Boltzmann constant and T is the temperature. Fine. So, we are going to see that we want energy levels filled. First of all, we sh should have some filled energy levels. So, let me take probability. Probability of finding energy. Finding electrons in energy level E2 is equals to 1 upon 1 plus E, E2 minus EF by 
KT. Here we have taken assumption that there is a Fermi level. Now, if I solve this equation, 1 upon 1 plus E. Now, E2 minus EF. We know that E2 is lower than EF. And we know that as we move higher, the energy is increased of the levels. So, E2 is less than EF in energy. E2 minus EF is a negative term. So, it is negative by KT. T, we have to take absolute temperature 0 Kelvin. So, it is K0. So, what we get is 1 upon 1 plus E negative of infinity. Because this is negative, this is 0 minus of infinity. And all the mathematics students know how to solve this. And we will get 5. So, probability of finding electron in any energy level below EF is 1. And we know that probability always lies between 0 and 1. If there is no probability of finding the electron, it should be 0. And if it is 100% that there is electrons filled, that means the probability should be 1. And here we have got that probability for E2 is 1. That means E2 is what? Every energy level which is below EF. So there are levels below EF that are filled with electrons that we are going to find electrons in them. Now, probability for E1. E1 is all the energy levels that has to be above EF. And we are going to find probability of electrons in that. Now for E1, 1 upon 1 plus E. E1 minus EF. We know E1 is greater energy than EF. So this is a positive term. Upon KT, we know K is Boltzmann constant. T is 0 Kelvin. Upon 0. So it is 1 upon 1 plus E raised to power positive of infinity. 1 plus infinity. 1 upon infinity. That is 0. So we got to know the probability of finding electron above this EF level is 0. That means there is going to be no electron above this level at 0 Kelvin. Now, we got to know that there is a level above which no electron is present and below which electrons are filled. Now, we have to find that what happens at EF. What happens to the probability of electrons at Fermi level, this level? Now, probability of finding electrons at EF. 1 upon 1 plus E raised to power EF minus EF upon KT. Now, if I am going to put terms in it, I am going to get a case like this. 0 upon K0. Now, 0 upon 0, not defined. But all the mathematics students will know how to solve this. That for these kind of cases, we are going to take limit T approaches to 0. I am not going to explain this derivation. But if we take limit T approaches to 0, this case will give us result 1. You have to solve this equation by taking limit T approaches to 0. Because 0 by 0 is not defined. So, when you solve this mathematically by taking limit, you will get probability of finding electrons in energy level, Fermi level is 1. That means this level contains electrons and all the levels below this contains electrons. But there is no electron above this level. So, what is this level? This level is the Fermi level. This is mathematical description of Fermi level. So, Fermi level is nothing else. It is simply an energy level present below which all the ele uh, electrons are present and above which no electron is present. It has to be calculated at 0 Kelvin because at room temperature there is thermal agitation. So, Fermi level is the highest filled energy level at 0 Kelvin. In next video, I am going to tell you that how Fermi level is in the middle in solids like semiconductors intrinsic and what happens to the level in extrinsic semiconductors.